What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a flashlight that you can basically turn on or off with any key. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we're going to go into our first person um, character blueprint. Of course, it will work in any character that you have, uh, also in third person or, uh, you know, whatever character that you're playing on. In my case, I'm just going to use the first person one. Uh, so basically, let's hit up the light. So let's go into the viewport. So yeah, it doesn't matter if it's third person, third person, okay? And what I'm going to do is just add a, um, an, a new component and it's going to be a gonna search for light. I'm going to get a uh, spotlight, okay? Which will just project, like you can see, a um, light into an area, which is exactly what we want for a flashlight. Um, so we can just kind of position it where we want. Maybe just in the tip of where he will be, you know, holding the gun or whatever. And for the purpose of this video, I think I'm going to make it that uh, you can turn it on and off, even though you have the weapon equipped, you know. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you can see um, that we have all the area. And of course, I think it's uh, too big. So what we can change is in these parameters over here. So for example, we have the outer cone angle and we can just basically uh, change the uh, size of this. So let's make it around 25 something like that and you can see and uh, then we also have parameters as the intensity so we can make it more intense or less of course we cannot really preview it here as there's nothing over here uh, and then you have uh, you know cast shadows and all different parameters that you can change so let me just compile and save and you know check how it will look so if i press play uh, you can see that there's some light being applied over here uh, looking already like a torch but of course, uh, first of all, let's lower the light of our scene because if not, I will not be able to see anything. So let's go ahead and quickly find here the uh, direction of light. And I'm just going to make the intensity one like this. It's a bit better. And also, control L, I'm going to make it so it's um, that we go more like nighttime. There we go. All right. So now if I press play. You can see that the torch is being applied over here and you can see how it is uh, illuminating the scene. Now, of course, uh, there's more things to do. First of all, it's not where the camera is looking. That's the first step that we have to change. So let's go quickly into the uh, back into the first person character blueprint and just make the spotlight use child of the first person camera. So when the camera moves, it will follow it. And literally like that, if we press play, you can see that now it will follow where the camera is looking. All right, really cool. Now let's make uh, that there's gonna be two types of lights. So like, you know, the, the flashlight is not just this kind of single light. There's like different layers into it. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and this is gonna be the inner. And it's just gonna make it a child of that one. And this one is gonna be a bit smaller. So maybe, yeah, 12, something like that. But the intensity is gonna be uh, maybe 7,000. And if we now compile and save it and press play, you can see how there's um, more of a you know, flashlight look and there's like two different layers into it. All right, cool. And of course you can customize it as you want, uh, changing the values over here. Maybe we want to make it a bit bigger. So maybe it's at you know, 30 and maybe we want it to be uh, 6,000 loads here. And then over here, we can make it uh, 15. And then up here, uh, maybe uh, 8, uh, 8,500. And with that, you know, we'll have more of a um, more intensive torch, basically. Uh, okay, so now let's make that you can basically uh, turn it on and off with the key. So let's go into our first person character, go into the event graph, and let's just find a place over here. Now, I'm going to do it properly and set up an input. Uh, so just go up into edit. I'm going to be into bright settings. And the reason that we're going to do a input from it, like properly from the uh, here, from the project settings is that later you can customize it so we, you can change the key uh, with a gamepad too, etc. So we're going to use a action mappings with which is a single like key or button. Let's add one and it's going to be a uh, turn uh, flash light and it's going to be on and off. And then if we uh, select the keyboard key and then just press, uh, like for example, F in our keyboard, it uses signs. And then you can do the same with the controller. In my case, I'm not going to add it, but you would just do this, then press the key with your controller and it will be added. 
So I need to delete that. Okay, there we go. So now I can use uh, search for turn uh, on off flashlight. There we go. And basically on the you can you can make it two things as one you know you can hold it or press it twice. In my case, it's gonna be one to turn on and another one to turn off. So we're gonna use the flip flop note, which is will do uh, something in A and something in B when we press it again. It's very useful for this kind of things. So I'm you know, gonna go ahead and just get the spotlight, drag it out here, and then set visibility. And this will basically turn it on and off. Now on here, uh, by default, we're gonna make it just gonna be off. So we uh, select both of the lights, and you search visible and turn it off. It will it will be uh, you know, off by default. And then so when we uh, turn it on, it will be on for the first time. And now we can use this propagate to children. So um, we just have to um, basically turn on the top one and the child will also appear. So the inner one will have to do anything because it will already work with the parent one. Now just duplicate this, copy and paste it. And now in the in the B, it's just going to be off. And we go. It's going to go and propagate to the children. So now if we press play, you can see that there's no light. But if I press F, you can see how it appears. And now if I press F again, it disappears. Really cool. Now let's add a quick sound to it. So what's it going to do? It's just over here because it's gonna be in both cases. I can just do it here and it's gonna be play sound 2D. It's gonna be good for us. And then let's just search a sound. For example, this one is okay. I mean, I don't really have a sound important. I'm just using the started content ones from Unreal. But yeah, and then we're gonna press it. And there we go. Now you can see that we get the gun and there's some things happening and it's just because of the position of the spotlight. So I mean, it's just interfering a bit with the gun. So what you can do is just move it a bit, there we go like this and then we uh, get it and turn it on. You can see this now back to normal. So yeah, it's just playing around with the values and the position basically. So yeah, that's it guys. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful and useful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials out there. So when it, you know, you want to check them out, go ahead. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.